Yeah. We're going to have a party, everyone. Everyone's invited. But but half of them died. Here we go. Okay. All right, all right. Let's see. Uh-huh. Come here, you. Best to get rid of you, I thought. Alright, and then we'll do this. Shatterer. We labor. Freeze enemies, then shatter them. Okay, is there anything else in this room before we head off? Doesn't seem like it. Okay. Let's see what we've got inside in store for us here. This looks like a fighting arena. Looks like that lever will find out. I know, but it feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Your emotions again, boy. Ignore them. And ready yourself. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought they were talking about the dragon. No, they're talking about the troll underneath there. Okay, uh, can we get some help? That wasn't that much, but I bet it's better than nothing, I guess. Can we get some more help? No? Just an empty breakable door? Okay. And this door is not able to be opened. Alright, let's try and give this a go. Daudi Hama! Hello! I don't know if, if um, rolling does actually get rid of the fire quicker. Okay. That was not what I wanted. Dodge underneath that. I can. Oh, he does a, a summon. Okay. Can I parry that? Oh, thank God. <sighs> can I parry that? I'm not sure if I can. It's kind of lame to do it like this, but I mean, the odds of me being able to fight him fairly are fairly low. Ooh. Yep, I'm on fire. Trying not to kill me. Trying not to kill me. Nope, I'm dead. Okay, so we got him down halfway. I have a feeling that's probably a boss meant to be done a little bit later. Um, so it might be worth going back to the dragon. Assuming we're not locked in with him. Okay, we're not locked in. All right, let's go. Let's go back and do the dragon. Let's go ahead and do Otir. Because for all I know, we might get something from Otir. And we have 3,000 XP as well, so we go ahead and do some skills. Uh, uh, let's see, what's this? Uh, yeah, that'll do. And we've got this as well. Go. Uh, what can a trace get? Nothing, because he doesn't have magic yet. And we can't get anything more in terms of rage, because we don't have enough XP now. Oh, we have, here we go. Yeah, sure, why not? That'll do. 
But yeah, I think we'll leave uh, Daudi Hama for a little bit. Like, the, the way the game displays levels is usually with a purple health bar for stuff that is above where your equipment and armor and everything else is currently, right? So it feels like... Oh, yeah, you're still trying to enlighten me, me. Um, it feels like for bosses like Daudi Hamar, they don't do the same thing. Are you still attacking lightning? Yes, you are. Alright, let's go and free him. Break the seal! Please don't eat us. There we go. Please don't eat us. Prepare yourself. Huh. You're free now. He gives us nothing. You're welcome. <laughs> Brilliant mark of the dragon. Sprinting for three seconds grants unstoppable or preventing interruptions by enemy attacks. And Ota's imprisonment has been completed. Okay. There's more? Free the trained dragons. Liberate dragons from their bondage. One of three. Okay, I guess there's more. Alrighty then. Mum once told me a story about Ota. He was a dwarf who could turn into an otter, which is how he got his name, I guess. Is this the same Ota? How did he become a dragon? I'd ask Father, but I know he doesn't care. It's when I have so many questions like this, that's when I miss Mother the most. Okay. Um, sure. So let's have a look at that enchantment then, I guess. Uh, this is Talisman, which is protection. Uh, L1 to activate. Also, yeah, okay. So, no, nah, none of that stuff's good. So is it on the, the weapon? No. Uh, where do enchantments get added? Nothing on Atreus. Uh, go to sockets. Is it this? Brilliant mark of the dragon. Sprinting for three seconds grants unstoppable aura. We've also got defiance, which gives us three cooldown. Fire resistance. Fire resistance. That's not bad. That would be very handy for da uh, Daudi Hamar. Now, Enrage Burst when acts of damage. Oh, so, Alright, so we've got one there. That's the Shoulder Guard. We can also do this, because it gives us extra strength. And... Last one. Uh, grant Rage Burst when damage is taken. It upgrades our level, but it doesn't increase our stats. That increases Runic up by 2. Axe throws up by 6%. Not bad. Uh, high activation chance for Blessing of Runic. I think I prefer this. So, yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and try... Oh, we... Ooh. Oh, I guess that'll be after Daudi Hamar. Let's try and do Daudi Hamar again. <laughs> There's our unstoppable aura. Cool, that's good. Oh, and the stop unstoppable aura doesn't start coming back until you start sprinting again. Well, uh, well anyway, we got some fire resistance, which should be handy. We've got increased damage on axe throws in case we want to keep our distance and lame it out. Um, yeah, should be okay. Well, I say it should be okay. I've got no idea. But we'll find out. So I guess what we want to do is let Daudi Hamar out and then... Uh, then do the, the chain? I uh, do the, the sprint? Also, am I at full health? I am, okay. So next time, if I die to Daudi Hamar, go in there for some healing if we... Yeah. Right. Let's 
sprinting. That is... That is a lot of damage on a single hit. And he does... It's the fire thing as well. So much. Yeah, that's dead. Okay. I think we'll give Hamar a couple of more goes, but uh, I can see this being a losing fight very quickly if he can kill me in three hits. So, yeah, so it's that one that's got the health stone. Not even a full heal either. Cross damage. What? What is? What is that? If you have a health stone, Atreus, that would be handy. Uh, but let's go ahead and get the one from over here instead. It's a little bit. It's not a lot. It's a little bit. Not what I wanted. I wanted the L1 plus R2. Again, I did L2 and R1. Alright, recall. Alright, do you want some aura? Whoop! Double aura. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I died. Okay. I haven't gotten down below half health yet. Trolls can be hitting their arms and legs during certain attacks to interrupt them and upgrade a weapon to significantly increase its damage. Okay, okay. Uh, that useful tips. Useful tips. Part of this is just basically gets good, but the other half of it is there is no point trying to fight enemies that are too strong for you. What? What is that glow? That fire is still doing damage. Yeah. Definitely need to roll to avoid this. Okay. Ah, that's dumb. That wasn't even the right one to do. Okay. Survivability is very hard. And I know I'm still technically level 1, and this is maybe a level 4 area, but... <sighs> Alright. Let's give it another go, maybe. Maybe two. Like, the fact that the fire builds up really quickly as well seems to be a, a detriment. Oh, stunned? No. Oh, you can attack his arms by throwing the axe. taken any damage yet, so. I mean, if the game lets you do it this way. I can't complain. Ooh, wow. Very there he is. Swinging. He's swinging. I mean, that thing that got damage on axe throws upgraded, probably very handy. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. 
it's over there. I'm trying to... Oh, God. Right. Um, you know what? Let's not, let's not go for Spartan Rage just yet. Until we get maybe a bit closer. Killing him. Oh, go, 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 go! Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! We lamed it out. But he's dead. Your skill is improving. You fought well, Atreus. Thank you, Father. All right. Daudi Hamar. We found Daudi Hamar trapped in a cage in Vaithagard. Dwarf King had managed to capture him somehow. Why was he in this cage? He could have. We could have just let him rot down there. But even for a troll, that felt too cruel. I mean, yeah, this guy killed 140 people. Yeah. Loot, loot, loot. Horn of Heimdall. Unleash a powerful attack that inflicts stun damage and knocks back in nearby enemies. Also has a passive effect that reduces his talisman's cooldown on successful blocks and parries. Uh, do I want to swap out the talisman of protection for that, though? It's a higher level, but it gives me less strength. No, I think I prefer having the passive effect for parries. Unless there is a, another talisman that does an equivalent for the bigger timing for parry windows. That's going to stay on for a long time, I think. Okay, so. Uh, with that, with that. So we can now open the door. Ooh, what's behind here? Glorious, glorious chest. Death happened here. Leviathan's Wake, a powerful axe throw that plows through enemies in its path. Wow, that does so much damage. Yeah, okay. Uh, I do fancy having more damage. I'd have to aim it, but... But yeah, just having a big swing to clear out a whole group. That seems great. Okay. So. Go ahead and destroy those. Good. And this is a way to climb up. There's nothing else around on the bottom, I don't think. Just have another look when we go up top. Nope, just that, so... Oh. And yep, this Fresh is where Ota was. Sweet. Alright. So, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and head back to the boat. But I think that'll probably do it for today. Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for Chain Dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this Dwarf King. Hmm. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think we're going to wrap it up there for today. Because we made a lot of progress in side areas all around the Lake of Nine. Uh, and Vaithagard as well, I guess. But we did not do any story stuff today. Uh, but it was all pretty interesting. Um, I think it might be that the game is kind of expecting you to carry on the story for a little bit. And then come back to these areas you've been to before. Hel hence why we've got the realm fight here. Uh, there's another realm fight over here. And then there's just the enemies over the statue of Thor as well. Uh, so that could take some time before we get to a point where our equipment and our armor are at a sufficient level to be able to do that. Um, so yeah, like I said, I'm going to stop here. So let's go ahead and make a save. Game data. And we'll begin the wrap up. So yeah, so we're level 2, 25 strength. That's 67 strength overall. So that's not that high. We're still technically only level 1 HP of 120 out of 140, so there is a lot more we could do, I think. Um, and yeah.
So, uh, let's get a good old shot of... Oh, you can't actually see Kratos, never mind. I was going to say, try and get Kratos on camera, but the way the, the game's camera system works in this means that you can't really see it, but we can see it there. So, thanks for watching the stream, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash to get notified when we go live for our next stream. You can also subscribe to us because we are Twitch affiliates, uh, and we're going to do a drag and makeup dress up stream if we hit 25 subscribers or 25 sub points um so yeah i'll just let pimsy go wild on that uh i'll make sure this goes up onto youtube as well uh rig rub pimsy play might take a while for it to come out there um i think currently we're still on outer wilds and then it'll go to spider-man then it'll go to god of war so it might actually take maybe a month before this goes up onto youtube but I might change the, the scheduling system to be, you know, working differently. So it's like alternating between two different series. Uh, we can also follow us on Discord and Twitter, and that'll tell you when we go live as well. Uh, Discord we use to sell games like Among Us and talk about, you know, anything that people are talking about. Um, Twitter is kind of like a public thing for us to say, hey, I'm going live now, playing a different game, playing this, playing that. Uh, and I try to post a GIF with every little tweet I do uh, saying that we're playing a game. Uh, we have a schedule of Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays, uh, 8 p.m. UK time on the weekdays. So that's 9 p.m. European time, 3 p.m. Eastern US, and 12 p.m. Pacific US, and 10 a.m. Uh, US, uh, 10 a.m. UK time on uh, Sundays, which is 11 a.m. European time, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern, and 2 a.m. Pacific. And we'll be carrying on with some more God of War on Wednesday, and going to Babri's U on Sunday. So if you guys are interested, tune in for live streaming then. Alright, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you all next time.